I'm in no position to say this because I don't work in the real estate industry, but I know that a lot of real estate agents have big egos and sometimes you get conflict in the office and with each other. And now that you're a director, right, you have to deal with all these things. How do you manage conflict? I think, you know, look, no business will be, no business will have, you know, a no conflict zone. I think I'm, I'm wrapped that in my, my business in the current time we're in for a long time. I can't remember us having much conflict at all with anyone. Mm -hmm. And that's just come down to being quite selective with the kind of people that you want to have on board. Um, You know, nowadays interviewing someone, understanding their personality, personality profiling, to know whether they'll fit within your culture is one way to, to, to prevent, you know, future issues. Mm -hmm. But I think, in any few, in any issue that you have, I really have to take a a neutral standpoint and look at primarily what's best for our consumers, our, yeah. our owners, and what's best for the business, and take myself or my own opinion out of it. And when I look at whatever's best for our consumers and the business, then I make a decision based on that. Mm-hmm. And the respect that your staff have for you is that if they know that I'm delivering a decision based upon that principle, then I don't have any more conflict after it. You know, if someone walks away unhappy from that resolution, they know that I've put the business or our consumers ahead of uh, anyone's anyone's needs or wants or desires yeah. when it comes to, you know, that conflict. So I think, again, if the staff know clearly where your headspace is when you're trying to resolve a conflict and that it's coming from this place and that message is continual, then they will respect the decision whether they like it or not. And and I think that if you have that culture, then you will have less conflict and you'll have um, people, I guess, having a better feel for the workplace and, and their owners and leaders.